I'm really glad with what's going on regarding things being exposed, you know, 2020, the issues I've seen in my community with regard to the way my friends have been uh, extremely discriminated and obviously, you know, just the overall racism. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, I talk about this quite often. It's the, the whites being jealous of blacks, you know, and, and of course, whites being jealous of Asians that they're going to take their jobs. And of course, you got the Latinos I talk about who work harder than the whites. But there's another discrimination I saw in my community, my family. It's my family, right? <laughs> I think the biggest discrimination I've only accepted in the past month, and it's the uh, discrimination of uh, it's big and pretty much everywhere here in America, almost 100 percent fathers. Um, I mean, I was raised by a single mother, so I, I I was just like you know I couldn't really say it too much, and you just you, when you're in something you know you're not going to see it as you know, clearly, and then when you get out of it, and the big thing I, I see for 2020, I don't get in these years, but of course I'm getting into it now, right, is that I got released from the bondage of being manipulated, um, used as a tool and everything else that's criminal, by my mother. <laughs> I didn't realize how much it, it had uh, a grip on me. So the big thing that I, I really see now, and I pray that, you know, as I've been set free from this, that other people can see. I made some videos about abort your mother, you know, back in September, maybe, yeah, right in September, end of September 2020. And I talked to a lot of people about this thing, issue of, you know, cutting off this this idea that, you know, your own, own uh Every, everything about you, your attitude, your demeanor, your 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 spirit, okay, is to be ruled and 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 dictated and owned by the mother, and the father is just nothing. And I'm gonna get into a few of these other other things too. I've seen with regard to child custody. You know, it's it's in this country. It's you know obviously the worst. So that's the big thing I'm talking about here is you know discrimination. Obviously, men are already uh, seen in this United States of America as abusive. Um, they need to pay for a woman to, you know, the big thing about the dates, you know, it's a traditional way, you know, in the Bible, it's the way you do it. Yeah, 21st chapter, Exodus, you, you buy the woman, you take her out for dinner and stuff, and they do it that way in this country, which, of course, 100% of the way, 100% of the time, it's totally destructive, and it's just it's complete. Uh, failure with uh, extreme pain emotionally, obviously, and then of course it could be you know physical too. Yeah, so I'm relieved, and I, I pray for you and myself relief upon everybody, calmness, clarity. What's really going on? Getting to the truth of things, you know, and really. Just overall acceptance of who we all are, you know, acceptance of, of men, males, uh, females, whom they've been designed to be, how powerful the divine feminine is, you know, that really woman is, as I love to brag, the center of the universe through which everything, all life, you know, exists. And 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 I I'm, I want I almost want to use the word prospers and lives really you know but this country you know they, like I mean obviously we 1.2 million murders of defenseless innocent children every year so you know, it's it's nothing really you know you you know what they don't really care about that and that's what it is of course. We've still got slavery today. I mean, I, oh great, we had civil rights acts in the 1960s. Really, what has changed in this country with regard to any kind of laws that federal governments made or any acts of, here I am in Florida or Ohio. Oh, the General Assembly came out with this new, okay, yeah, let's talk about this. Uh, new, new, These new shared parenting rules, you know. Okay, well, what does that really, 
what does any act of Congress or General Assembly or anything like that, you know, Ronald Reagan did the first no-fault divorce, that's the biggest mistake he ever made, he says, but there's, you know, there's a lot of things that have been done by various states. I'm, I'm still like, oh, it's like, uh, yeah, market's about to open in a few minutes, almost 9.30, I'm pulling these obliques. I mean, I've, I've been out of bed for a few hours, but... Well, hey, I'm 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 thankful for. Yeah, I look at this like you know, as as a father that I am, the man that I am. Really though, you can see my videos and, and everything, and watch everything publicly about me and my books. There's nobody like me, male or female. Really into health, always 100% healthy and striving to respect everybody, be fully submissive and obedient to everybody. The highest, highest reverence and honor for everybody, you know, fully, happily dignified, peaceful. But the big thing is health. Where do you see stuff like this? That's a few people who are kind of into being healthy and sexy. But really, really just exalting everybody. I love black power, baby. What's up? Black supremacy. Yeah. Infant, oh, unborn supremacy. That's a new one. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. I love that. I, I'm just now getting that. The supremacy of a child in the womb. Wow. <laughs> child supremacy. Okay, I'm, I'm just having so much fun now. I'm going to roll with that on to, well... I've got a few books I'm working on and 